All praises goes to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakak Wadash. Double honors goes into the apostles and, and the elders of Great Millstone, from which I've learned the truth. And much love and peace and blessings goes out to um, all the hopeful elect brothers that are teaching the word of Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, as well as you sincere listeners out there. So, um, so this will be a, a lesson. I'm going to do it basically about the topic of the Haitian president being assassinated. Because like uh, the scriptures tell you, these are the signs. Like the, the Haoshai, which is our Lord and Savior. Um, he, he wrote, it was written in the book of Matthew that he said that there should be signs before his coming. And that's us being uh, believers of the scriptures, Israelites. That's what we're looking for. We're, we're measuring the times and seeing what's going on and, and comparing it to what's written in the scriptures. You see what I'm saying? Observing everything going on so that we can see what time we're in and what frame of mind we should be in our actions and everything so that that day doesn't come upon us unaware and we get caught out there and be destroyed. So this uh, particular situation, it plays into prophecy because I mentioned the book of Matthew uh, Yahweh Shai said before his comings, there will be wars and rumors of wars. Um, there's also written in the book of um, Second Ezra that there will be uproars of the people, right? And this particular uh, situation is causing an uproar out there in Haiti. And also there's been uproars and chaos going on in Haiti for the past several months because of, you know, United States and CIA covert forces trying to um, you know, oust this this guy, you know, and 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 just supporting this from a different angle. Haiti is the home, the current home at least, of the Levites, the tribe of Loya, which they're one of the twelve tribes of Israel. Loya being, which was you know the part of the 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 the, the former priesthood, okay, and that's a special tribe. But you have out there, them they, they doing all kind of wickedness. You see? So this guy, though he is a president in, in title, truly who the Most High is dealing with right now as the leaders of the Levites is uh, the Apostle Tahar, which he's a Levite himself. But you got all these wicked so-called Haitians in Haiti and Florida and different parts of America that are doing their own thing. And this is why death and the sword is coming upon them. Like the scriptures tell you in Psalms, the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous unless the righteous put forth his hands to iniquity. And this is why this guy got put to death. All right. Because you see him clearly with this bald head and who Lord knows what other, and no beard. Lord knows what other type of wickedness he was into. So these are false leaders over the people. And the, and the, the spirit of the most high is raising up the true leaders. You know, which are telling you your identity and also telling you how you to conduct yourself according to the wisdom of the Heavenly Father. This guy, uh, uh, jo Jovenel, whoever you pronounce his name, he wasn't offering no answers onto the spiritual plight, you know, the plight of our people. You know, he didn't have the answers. So Most High killed him. And then, you know, from the other angle, it shows you how... You know, really how this devil operates, the devil that is, you know, in control of the earth right now, that being the so-called white man, the, the Edomites. They rule by the sword. They have their hands in these things that go on, uh, you know, assassinations, uh, coup d'etats, uh, covert operations. Because Esau is controlling the strings. You have something as well called the Monroe Doctrine. Where these American Edomites have proclaimed for centuries that uh, ever since the you know inception of this doctrine that they they can basically control the entire Western Hemisphere. America can control the entire Western Hemisphere because they're entitled to it. <laughs> you see what I mean? 
So it's no surprise if you understand that doctrine, why certain moves are being made upon these countries, you know, be it Latin America, et cetera, et cetera, that America has their hands, that, that America, the United States has their hands in it. You see? So this has Esau's hands written all over it. So this Esau's red hands all over it. So this is, uh, uh, I'm going to read this from signofthetime.net, S-O-T-T.net. It says, the president of Haiti, uh, Jovenel Moise, has been assassinated in his home by a group of armed men who also seriously injured his wife, according to a statement and comments made by the country's interim prime minister. Uh, speaking on a local radio station, jo Claude Joseph confirmed that Moise, Moise, 53, had been killed, saying the attack was carried out by an armed commando group that included foreigners. In a televised national address later on Wednesday, and even, look, even the fact that these were foreign mis uh, mercenaries should raise some type of red flag. Because Haiti has been experiencing all the type of inner turmoil, so you would think that his biggest enemies would be some type of civilian force or et cetera, et cetera, right? No, it's, it's, it's outside forces. It's America. Because America has vetted interests in the information that a lot of these Haitian, um, uh, you know, leaders know, and also the the, the resources and the, the the children of Haiti. Because children of Haiti are abducted all the time to be uh, sex trafficked and part of satanic sacrifices. The Democratic Party deals heavily with that. Because I have here, if you go, if you look this up on um, on BitChute, look it up. Um, how the hint, how the Clintons destroyed Haiti. It's a 44 second video going into it, which I won't play because my video might get flagged. But um, let's just go back down and read more of this article. It says. Uh, in a televised national address later. Later on Wednesday, Joseph declared a state of emergency across the country and made a call for calm. The situation is under control, he said. According to the Haitian ambassador to Washington, Bohit, Bohit Edmund, Moises killers claimed to be members of the U.S. Drug Enforcement Agency, which <laughs> that should tell you a lot in itself. Like, why would why the hell would a... a a U.S. drug agency have power and clearance over in a whole other fucking country. That, that makes no sense. United States Drug Enforcement Agency, meaning they're supposed to enforce the drug policies in the U.S. So what the fuck are they doing in Haiti? You see what I mean? Because Esau is that traveling weapon. But, it, you know, as it, as it turns out, they were never part of the DIA to begin with, but... So let's keep reading. It's lock it, man. It's an interruption. It's fucking irritating. It says Edmund said he had to had the White House on Wednesday morning for U.S. help in identifying and capturing the killers. We need a lot more information, Joe Biden said later at the House, calling the killing very worrisome. Which this dude, he's a he's a damn snake. He's Edomites. They speak with a forked tongue because on one end they can paint the picture of concern and you know being worried for you but on the other end he's cackling and laughing because he knows that they had something to do with it you see what i mean so these people are nothing but the damn devil man you know and it came out that that um two of the assassins at least the ones that were captured were haitian american meaning they had u.s ties and then the rest of them were like colombian uh mercenaries so, I mean, come on, man. This has Esau's hands written all over it. This is uh, Jeremiah chapter 51 and verse 25. Behold, I am against thee, O destroying mountain, saith the Lord. And, and the Lord is against this destroying mountain. And you know who this destroying mountain is? It's talking, speaking about in reference of Babylon. Because this chapter, Jeremiah 51, is referring to Babylon. So Babylon, according to the scriptures, is America. Because of all the prophecies, you know, cons written concerning Babylon, it links up with the history 
what's currently going on in the future of America. Such as being just described as a destroying mountain. Because it's destructive. America is destructive in its nature. Look at the military industrial complex. You know how much pollution and death is poured out by just that very industry existing? Them uh, 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 fracking for fuel for these, these damn ships and these aircraft carriers and all that shit? Them uh, robbing in the, the, the mineral resources of other countries and causing turmoil in those countries so they can make more weapons. Do you see what I mean? So America is that destroying mountain because it's very destructive in nature and causes death, causes decay around the earth, causes a neighbors to be at war instead of peace and all of that type of stuff. Because it says, which destroyeth all the earth. And I will, and, and that's in every facet. America destroy, has destroyed the earth spiritually. It's destroyed the earth physically. It's destroyed the, uh, the people of the earth mentally. To where you got people that don't even know if they're a man or a woman. It says, and I will stretch out my hand upon thee and whirl thee down from, a, from the rocks and will make thee a burnt mountain. Meaning, Mountain is, is in reference of a government, a, a ruling party, right? They're going to be burnt up. There's going to be no Washington, D.C. All that's going to be burned up because of how, you know, you see all the chaos um, and the, you know, the, the uh, how do I put this word, man? The, the chaos and confusion being poured out from this, from these, this, this United States government. It says... So I want to look up that word I had to pull up for destroying. And it is mashach, mashach, mashach yath, mashach yath. And it means destructive or figur figuratively corruption. So it is figuratively corrupted in a sense. And it is in, in in reference to America, and it also is literally destructive in the physical things America does to other countries. Look at look at the pharmaceutical industry. Look at how all these drugs are being pumped and pushed throughout the earth, and it's causing uh, 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 decay to people's lives, man. Death, people literally dying from this shit. People getting. You know, it came out from the, the Bayer company that a lot of their aspirins contain HIV. People got AIDS from that shit. And this is all in, you know, in harmony with what America, you know, these things going on in the earth is in, is in harmony with what America pushes out, what America allows, because America is that top dog. So this is uh, Micah chapter 2. In verse one, it says, woe unto them that devise iniquity upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it. So this is exactly the situation that happened with the Haitian president. They devised a plan to go and murder that man. Now, we don't know what this guy did according to the laws of the Heavenly Father. The Heavenly Father is justified in all killings he brings upon men. But the thing is, you can almost guarantee that this guy, that Esau, is not killing this guy for being against the Heavenly Father. You see what I'm saying? They killing them for their the personal, for 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 greed, for gain. When when the morning is light, they practice it because it is their it is in the power of their hand, and they cover fields and take them by violence, and houses and take them away. So they oppress a man in his house, even a man in his heritage. And Esau does this. Around the world, in every country, in every country, because they look to take what what belongs to someone else, lay claim to it. Wait, they lay claim to it, take it, put their military there, and then tell those people what they're supposed to do with their own things. That's exactly what they do. Just like in Afghanistan, what they went in there and destroyed the Taliban. These, you know, you got these Arabs. Or whatever the hell, they, you know, whether they be maybe uh, uh, Elamites or whatever, right? They're warring amongst each other. That's their business. Whether it's the Taliban versus government forces, that's what they got going on. But you see America will march in there 
to, to, to say, oh, we got to push democracy. But then the whole meanwhile, they're taking the poppy, the poppy uh, fields. Which 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 produce opium, which can be used for all these pharmaceutical drugs, and a multitude of other things like like heroin that's on the black market, which Esau is in control of. You see what I mean? But then he tells the people they gotta be under democracy. Well, what if they want a fucking king? Who do who are you to change that, Esau? You're the devil. This is Genesis twenty seven and uh, forty. This is the blessing of. Esau from from Isaac, and this is, shows you that Esau has is found guilty in in this situation. It's Genesis twenty seven and forty, and by thy sword shalt thou live, and shall serve thy brother, and it shall come to pass when thou shalt have the dominion that thou shalt break his yoke off thy neck. And the point is where it says, the by the sword shall thou live, and the reason being, the the I shouldn't say the reason, but the um. The significance in that in this situation is that there were mercenaries with guns. The modern day sword is the gun with guns used to kill this man. Now, those weapons were obviously wielded by non Edomites. <laughs> you know, there was Colombians and Haitians, which they were all jakes. Right. But who wielded the mercenaries? It was Esau. So Esau is ultimately the 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 uh, the. Uh, the one at blame, the one at fault, the one that used the sword to get his means done. And that's that's his that's in his playbook. That's how the Heavenly Father set this thing up. And it shows you the power of the Most High. Esau couldn't do any other means besides what the Most High gave to him, which is the sword. That's how he gets what he what he needs to uh get done done. All right. So these are words of condemn con condemnation unto these Edomites, you know, Esau got his hands all over this. And he also, there's more information brought out that this Haitian president, he was in, inclining to refuse the C-19 vaccine in his country. And also that was the same case with the president of Tanzania. So, hey, the more incentive for Esau to do what he did. All praises goes to Yahweh, Shalom.